Hi, I'm Tony Burke with LBDigest.com, and this is a quick look of the A10 Network's AX2000 Server Load Balancer. There are two ways to configure the AX2000. The first is a Cisco iOS-like command line interface, and the second, pictured here, is a web user interface. For this quick look, we're going to configure a very simple virtual service configuration pointing to a single web server. The AX2000 uses the familiar load balancer abstraction concepts of virtual service, which consists of a virtual IP address and TCP or UDP port, server grouping, and finally real servers. The first step in this configuration is to go into config mode and configure a new service group. The service group is a grouping of real servers together, providing common service. Here we'll give it a name, group1, and uh, specify a health monitor. I've already set one up called gethead, which does a simple HTTP head command. We'll add in the IP address of a single server and click apply. Checking things over, everything looks good, so now we go to the virtual server tab. In the general tab, we'll just give it a name and an IP address. Then we'll go into port and we'll configure a new port. And this is the TCP port, so we'll use port 80 for web service. We use cookie persistence, so I'll give it a uh, cookie persistence template. I've already configured one, but let's go ahead and configure a new one just to see how it's done. First you give it a name, and then you give it a cookie name. And the cookie name is what shows up in the HTTP headers. Now configuration-wise, we're done. All that's left is to test it, so I've gone ahead and pre-configured a web server to serve up a test web page along with DNS so that we can put a host name into the address bar instead of an IP address. So the host name that I've picked is VIP1. We'll put that in and we can see the test page comes up and everything works. This has been an LBDigest.com quick look. Thank you for watching.